All right, welcome back everybody. In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to remove the background of an image so we can actually use that object in something else. And in this case, the car is uh, what we're going to keep and then everything we're going to get rid of is going to be the house, the trees, the grass, the, the uh, brick pavement here. But um, we're gonna use several tools to do that. The first tool we're gonna to use is the quick selection tool and I'll teach you the technique for that. And then the second one is a tool within Photoshop Elements called the Magic Extractor. And it's a uh, unique to Photoshop Elements. So uh, we'll see how that works. So I'm gonna kinda show you the hard way and then do the easy way afterwards, uh, just cause that's how I work. All right, first thing as always, you either need to unlock the background layer or we need to uh, create a, a new layer uh, and then do a non-destructive edit. So again, I'm going to grab the layer, the background layer, and I'm going to put it on top of the post-it note in the layers panel to create a background copy. And I'm going to turn this one off because I am going to be removing the background. When I delete the background, I want to be able to see the checkerboard square. If this background layer is on. When I delete the background, it's going to look the same. It's not going to be any different. So I'm going to turn that background layer off. So when I do delete it, you'll see checkerboard square behind everything here. Okay, so this background is not locked and I'm ready to go. I do have the quick selection tool selected and I'm going to click the add to selection in the control panel. And now what I am going to do is I'm going to increase the size of my brush using the open uh, close hard bracket and I'm going to select the car. So I'm just going to move and paint on top of the car here to select all of the pixels that have anything to do with the car. And I'm um, being as cautious as I can not to get too close to the edge of the car image so that way I don't accidentally get the brick uh, building. And again, if I do get anything that I don't want, I can always subtract it from the selection. So I'm just painting along the blue areas. It's really easy here in the center. I'm painting around the tires here to grab those tires. And I did get a little bit of the hedges there in the background, and I'll fix that in a minute. But I'm just going as, as uh, straight as possible around here. Uh, and it looks like I did get some of this area here that I'll have to remove and the background around uh, the back edge here with the hedges. I'll have to remove that. So I'm going to hit the minus here, the quick selection, and I'm just going to go straight down, and that should remove that section there. Beautiful. And I've got some shadow effect here that I might not want. Not too close. And then right here, I don't want this section right here in the center, so I'm going to remove that. There we go. And then, oops, I'm going to have to add that back because it did go too far. I was too close to the tire. The black was too similar, so I couldn't figure it out. But that looks perfect right there. So at this point, again, I'm going to go to the Select menu and invert the selection so that way I get the marching ants on the outside. So everything that I have available now to select is all of this image. And when I hit the Delete key, that goes away and I'm left with just the car. Okay, so we've done this before and it's not too complicated. Quick selection tool works really well for this. Um, but I'm going to show you a different technique with the magic extractor here. And uh, it's a tool, like I said, that is unique to Photoshop Elements. So I'm going to undo everything I just did and I'm going to deselect. And I'm going to keep my copy of my background image still. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the image menu up here across the top and I'm going to choose the magic extractor. A new dialog box is going to come up for the magic extractor here and let me resize this window so we can see it inside my recording. And all I need to do is use these painting tools here on the left in order to select the areas that I want. Now there are instructions here across the top so there's three sets of instructions and they're pretty good at uh, kind of working with uh, what I need to do here and I do have some settings here on the right that I can change and I'm not worried about these settings on the right just yet but I am going to make sure that I have the foreground brush tool selected because this is what I'm going to want to keep so I'm going to paint anywhere on this image where I want to keep and I don't have to paint the entire car for example I just need to paint the idea of the colors so I just have to kind of hover over these colors and and draw the basic shape of this car so for example if I just grab this and I start painting along this car here I'm telling Photoshop what it is that I want to keep I'm going to get this tire I want this tire down here and I'm going around and I want this tire here and up and again, I do want to go at least in the middle. And that's about it. And just a rough sketch. Now, I do want to have this tire in the background as well. So these are the things I want to keep. Now, notice it is red. So the color I'm painting is red. And that is based on the foreground color here. And you can click on it to change that color if you don't like that color. I'm, I'm OK with those default colors, so it's not that big of a deal. I can change the brush size here. Right now, it's 20 pixels. So that's how wide it is. If I make it a little smaller here, 
can slide this over this way and now it's a little smaller and if I slide it the other direction it's going to get much larger so very similar to any uh, brush uh, resizing that you have inside of the regular Photoshop alright now I want to notify Photoshop of what the background is what it is that I want to discard so there's an icon right here it's called the background selector tool the brush and it has a minus on it so that's basically saying hey this is what I want to subtract now again I just have to do a rough sketch of what it is that I want to subtract and I'm just gonna do a circle here around this image and I'm telling it okay these are the colors I want you to remove these are the pixels that I don't want and again so there's that and I'm making sure that I'm not getting any of this section here and maybe just a little bit underneath the car here and that's it really now if I go to click the preview button it should subtract out what I, indications I've given it and I can tweak it if I need to but in this case I did a pretty good job of selecting those areas that I wanted and removing it now I do see here that I do have that area underneath the car where the two wheels in the front meet and I have a little bit of a shadow there so again I can add to selection I can change how this is going to look so for example if I come over here and I shrink the brush down a little bit I can get between those tires in the front so right here I'm just going to paint a little bit of blue right uh, sorry a little bit of the red right there and now I'm going to preview it again and that should try to subtract that as much as possible here and it's not getting it too well let me add to that selection so again based on the tools that I've got here I can change uh, how I want this to work and see if I can add this because I really want to get rid of that section and preview oops I apologize I have the wrong tool if I had the subtraction tool so that's gonna give me a good example here of using the eraser so I'm gonna erase this section uh, the red is what I want to keep remember and the, the blue is what I want to get rid of so I needed to add blue there so I'm gonna click the minus and subtract that area I was trying to figure out why that wasn't working and I guess now I just did and again I can do this area here this shadow effect and then when I preview it should go away there we go so a little tighter again I did get too much here on the tire because I selected that dark color I'm going to erase that over here so a good use of these different tools that are available to us but using these tools I can adjust and uh, make it work the way I need it to let me preview that now and it should bring that color back so if I click OK it will accept those settings and pretty much I have a similar selection to what I had earlier using the quick selection tool now it's up to you to decide which one you think is going to work best in your situation um, the magic extractor is unique to Photoshop Elements 9 so it is a, a neat tool that's available and just by drawing lines I'm not even worried about you know selecting the object I'm just as much as drawing lines on the object I want to keep or drawing lines on the background I want to remove um, I can get rid of it using the quick selection tool will work as well but either way you choose now I have a background that is invisible and if I bring my regular background back there's what it looked like before and here's what it looks like now without the background and I can grab this using the move tool and move this to any image that I want and place it on the image anywhere that I want and that is removing a background from an image using the magic extractor and the quick selection tools. I hope you have fun with Photoshop, and I thank you for joining me. Have a good day.